Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and here's everything that you need to know about EU's work visa. Now, the first question would be, what is a Schengen work visa? Before we delve deep into what the work visas are, it is really, really important for us to know that there is no such thing as a Schengen work visa. However, one can get a Schengen visa to work in Europe as long as you hold a national type D visa for employment purposes issued by one of the 26 European countries in the Schengen area of course. To know more about what a Schengen visa is and what a Schengen area is I would highly recommend you to watch our previous video on everything you need to know about a Schengen visa which should be available on the top right corner of this very video. Now, you might be wondering, what are the different types of requirements for a European work visa? Typically, there are eight requirements that you will have to meet in order to get a European work visa. Now, the first one would be the application form. The second would, one would be two identical photos. Now, these photos should be taken within the last three months of application. Now, the third one would be valid passport. Now, the, pas the passport must have a validity of three months by the date you plan to exit the Schengen territory. Now, this means that if, for example, my work permit expires by 12-12-2022, then that would mean that I would need to have a passport that must be valid up to the date of 12-3-2023, which is basically three months from the date that the work permit expires. Now, fourth one, and one of the most important ones, is the travel medical insurance. Fifth one is the proof of accommodation. Now, this document shows the place that you will be residing in the Schengen area once when you get your job. The employment contract, which basically is just proof that, that you will be working in a company. Seventh one would be proof of academic qualification, stating that you are qualified enough in order to get the job that you will be working for and the last one and again one of the most important ones of these requirements is the proof of language knowledge now this is to ensure that the worker will not face any difficulties in communicating with the employer or the natives which is why most of the countries in the Schengen area would ask you to meet a specific level of knowledge of an official language. This could be English or if you were to apply for Italy or France maybe, it could be English and French. Now you might be wondering, where can I apply a European work visa? Now, if you, the individual, is the holder of the work visa, you must submit your visa application to a body that represents the country where you will be working. Now. This body could be one of the following. It could be the embassy, the consulate, or a visa application center. Validity of a work visa. To know for how long your work visa is valid for, as well as few other details available in the visa sticker in your passport, I would highly recommend you to watch one of our previous videos on how to read a Schengen visa sticker. Extendability of EU's work visas. Now, it should be noted that one will be able to extend a EU work visa in most countries in the EU. Now, it should be also noted that there is an application process and some required documents which you will have to collect and submit these documents to the authorities in your Schengen country of residence prior to your visa expiration. That is all you need to know about work visas. I would highly recommend you to hit that subscribe button for more educational content just like this one on immigration. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.